holiday season is here and you always wanted to travel like one of those digital nomads or minimalists, looking sleek and light, but God made you a woman. Things are often harder in theory than they are in practice. As a modern female and a fashion girly, I used to be a massive overpacker before. After years of struggling, I decided to use design thinking to improve the way I pack. It was since last summer that I finally made a switch and started to travel carry on only, both short and long term. I managed to do six weeks across Europe, two ski holidays, and honestly, I cannot go back. Not only it will save you money, as you always pay extra for that luggage, you'll save time in the airport, especially waiting for that luggage when it arrives. In Abu Dhabi, I still have to go to the check-in to print my boarding pass because they have to check your travel documents as a security. But when we land, I'm gonna save so much time so I don't have to wait for the suitcase and it's great traveling so light. Traveling light will also free up your mind space from worrying too much and carrying more than you need. Same as with your time blocks. It helps you stay focused on your priority activities when you're away from home. And this is one of the main benefits of the light travel system for me. When previously I was focused on a number of outfits I can create, as it became apparent, the focus shifted to small humans and basic comfort for myself. And just now when I'm older, I'm able to distill my style into a very small number Number of things while leaving loads of room for other life priorities that I have like always bringing my water bottle, eating healthy which often means bringing my own food, some workout gear and everything I need to run business remotely. These things would not be possible for me as an overpacker. And now as I pack less things I cannot say outfits are not as good. They're just more distilled, less just in case items but more essentials that make difference. Freedom on the go and that feeling is priceless. In this video I'll cover my most used items. Use this video as a guide for your trip but think about your own functions and priorities and these could be very different from mine. Three of my rules for travel. 1. Function of a fashion. Think about your three most common occasions. For me, that is walking in nature or around the city, lounging and being comfortable working indoors, and being cute exploring cute cafes and taking pictures. Aesthetics is also important as it helps you avoid any spontaneous excessive shopping. 2. Less is more. Aim for lightness, multifunction. Nobody cares if your outfit is not stalled for the latest Vogue. It doesn't have to be 10 out of 10 every single time. Have just one or two outfits styled fully and stick to it with a few small variations. To me that means almost same tops that suit me best with three to four different bottoms. If you need dressier options for a specific event or specific outdoors equipment that you'll only need once, opt for use rental option or you can even have an item shipped over to your destination. Remember, there's always a scale of good, better, best. And it's always better to have a small wardrobe than more confusion. And my rule number three, trust the universe. You might be bringing a lot of just-in-case items. What if weather changes? What if it rains? Trust the universe. Many hotels have the umbrellas, but I use these as gross opportunities. Things are harder in theory than they are in practice. If it rains, you can do without umbrella. It might create a special occasion for you, but if you go somewhere where it rains a lot, of course bring one. Just understand that you cannot bring everything, as your space is limited. So when I bring my ski suit, I don't bring my workout gear or camera. When I pack all of my filming stuff, I don't bring my umbrella and many of the outfits. I aim to find balance in these things, and I pick most important stuff that you can't easily replace. My suitcase is American Tourister. I love it for the sparse passport pocket and the laptop holder. I can also put all of my wires and chargers in these handy organizers. As a personal item, I usually take my backpack to the airport. I don't carry my designer bags to the airport usually as I don't find them practical. I usually travel with my kids so I need both of my hands. I love luxury handbags but after a decade of wearing them, they're just a bit too heavy and lack function on travel days. Usually I can't justify bringing them on my long trip 
trips unless they really light and fold flat inside the suitcase. So unless I travel alone and for business, I usually don't carry a designer bag to the airport. But I like to have a small and cute bag inside a suitcase for day to night occasions for my fashion function. I'll often use it as my small personal item to hold my passport, lip product and a phone. Uniqlo or Lululemon also have great bags for that function. How to pack. There is an ongoing dilemma about packing cubes. Some people like them, some not. I usually use one to pack my tops, my intimates, pajamas and my socks. It all fits into one packing cube. For my bottoms, I grow them Mary Kondo style. As for my wardrobe method, I use a trusted capsule wardrobe system, having my exact needs, functions and weather conditions in mind. For the tops, I usually have four to five, two very plain ones and two more special. One or two top layers, a button up or a cardigan and a long sleeve. Four to five bottoms, from casual to more dressy ones. And I wear the bulkiest item on a travel day, five pieces of underwear and three pairs of socks, one pajamas. Accessories wise, I'll take two pairs of shoes, a sneaker, one on travel day and a seasonal flat shoe. Whenever I shop for new items, I want them to be cute, functional and pack small. A pool slide is another all year round essential. For jewelry, I just usually take everything I wear on a daily basis. For me, that's a pair of earrings, some necklaces and a bracelet. And as an extra, I might take one extra pair of earrings. Other must have items item I have to take is a laundry bag. When you pack small and you travel for a long time, you'll need to do laundry regularly. When I'm packing my toiletries beside the regular items like my toothbrush and paste, I'm taking my basic skincare, cleanser, moisturizer and a sunblock. Then I'll pack my beige items, tinted moisturizer and a concealer, eye and brow items, cream, mascara and brow gel, colored makeup as a blush, lip gloss and optional extra, some eyeshadow. With hair I can easily use hotel products and I don't bring any, but my non-negotiable for my long hair is this hair leave-on spray that I'll distill into a mini-sized container. I aim to have all items fit into this Anya Henmatch organizer. I love it as you can easily put your brushes and makeup items up using the side holders. For an extended list of essentials, check out my long-term travel list. That video is long, but I cover most of the woman's needs in there. So you can still look cute and chic even if you've been on the road for the past two months. I use another pouch to organize my wires and charges and keep them tidy. My other must-have is a travel adapter. It goes into my backpack and I don't use power banks. This makes me feel minimalist-ish. Inside my bag or backpack, I hold a small cosmetics pouch and my essentials organized. I bring headphones that don't need to be charged, lip gloss or balm, a small notebook, a pen and a mask. If I'm struggling with space, I'll put the lightest but bulky items into my backpack, like the packing cube with my underwear and tops. And I'll put some heavy toiletries, filming items, foods, water bottle into my carry-on, as I don't want to carry the heavy items. Laptop and liquids are easy to remove during security and then repack as needed. As I reach the airplane, I put small pouch with my essentials and my choice of an ebook, phone or any snacks or water into the front seat pocket to have easy access to those. And then I put all of my bags in an overhead locker. Now you know how you can travel light and stay a fashion girly. I hope you found this video useful. Send it to your friend and leave me a comment of where would you travel next. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!